Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Christmas Day Special. Here are my reindeers, my little helpers, and as you can see here, right under our little Christmas tree, we have Santa's sack, or bag. Sack might sound a little sus. Thank you, little helpers. You are dismissed. You may go <laughs> look how unimpressed Lily is right now. <laughs> all right, guys, go. Belle, Lily, Bailey, thank you all for your help. Ho, 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 thank you to my three little reindeer for delivering Santamo's secret magical sack. That is not a sexual innuendo in any way, but in here we have a little surprise. It is a little surprise mail day. Two booster boxes. Check this out. Two 5Ds booster boxes of Crimson Crisis. Obviously red to fit the Christmas theme. Had to do it now. Uh, this was completely by coincidence. Two unlimited Crimson Crisis booster boxes, but we're not done yet. This sack may look empty, but with the power of Christmas and Santa Mo magic, we could wave our hand and make three more 5Ds booster boxes appear. Check this out. Absolute Power Force. Three boxes of Absolute Power Force and these bad boys, Jack Packs as well, our first edition. So that's pretty epic. It's pretty random surprise mail day, but we're not done yet because in here, we also have one of the most epic special editions ever produced, Samurai Salt. Basically a little combination of 5Ds packs and GX packs, some of my favorite in the game, as you can see, some, were, some of them that we're gonna be opening today. But wait, there's even more because with a little flick of my wrist, we can pull out of Sandamo's cap three more absolute power force booster boxes that are upside down. Check this out, guys. This is a huge haul. Randomly, my little elf, Calvin, came through huge for us. Make sure you stay tuned, though, because we will definitely be cracking one of those boxes on the channel, possibly for the 2,000 subscriber special. Without further ado, let's jump right into this Christmas special. And you know, the last two days of the 12 Days of Christmas giveaways, all you have to do, leave a like, subscribe, and comment. What's your favorite set that we're opening today? Or just what were some of your favorite gifts that you got this year for Christmas or whatever you may celebrate? That is not the only giveaway today because we are also going to be giving away one Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa Claus pack, a Storm of Ragnarok pack, as well as another Hidden Arsenal pack, but not the one you think. We're going to be giving away a Hidden Arsenal 3 first edition pack. This is the 12th giveaway of the 12 Days of Christmas giveaways. Make sure you check out all of the other videos linked in the description for all the other giveaways. And stay tuned for some more epic content, including this epic Christmas opening that we're just going to kick off right now on this Christmas day. Again, going to try to get it uploaded. It's probably going to be really late again, though, because, uh, ooh, Legendary Knight Critias. Like everybody, I am celebrating Christmas this, uh, this Christmas day. So, can we pull something special? Starting off just with some Dragons of Legends packs. I have to throw them in there because they're red. You know it. Ooh, Ancient Gear Golem and Lord of the Red. Yeah, I already had to cut before or after the intro with my reindeers. <laughs> so it's, hey, there we go, another Ancient Gear Golem. It's probably not going to be the best time to be recording, but nonetheless, I'm going to try to get this video out for you guys. Whoop, ruined it there again. Prediction Pinchus, Prediction Ritual, and Time Magic Hammer. So, no luck on the Dragons of Legend packs, but we're now going to be opening some of these Hidden Arsenal packs that I mentioned. Hidden Arsenal 3. So these guys have some awesome Drag Unity cards in them, like the one of the ones that I just pulled here, Drag Unity Ducks. Got the secret rares on the front. There are some decent super rares in here. Can't remember right now, but of course, being green packs, we had to open them up today. Hidden Arsenal 3. Uh, the big pull that I would want out of here is Doloran. It is a synchro monster, so you'd know right away. It's definitely not a fabled. Warm X, Jurak Petra, and Samurai. Okay, come on, pick it up. Hidden Arsenal. These are 5D specs, though, so. Still still nice and old. Ooh, it's a Synchro. Fabled Leviathan, though. Ooh, still haven't got that Doloran. Still need that Doloran. Uh, Master of the Ice Barrier, or whatever it's called. <laughs> I butcher its name every time. Maybe I don't deserve to pull it. Okay, here, card trick that time. Worm Yagen. 
And, uh, oh, upside down. Fabled Cruise, this is actually a really good secret rare. I'm pretty sure. All right, the last Hidden Arsenal 3-pack. And today, if you didn't know, we are going to be opening up some Duelist Revolution packs. Green packs. Okay, there we go. Another a Fabled Leviathan there. Also, some Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa Claus packs. But now, the fun stuff begins. The special actually gets started. Today, we are going to be opening up Duelist Revolution 10 packs. Some of my favorite cards come in this set, uh, and it's just one of the most valuable 5D sets, along with hobby, technically, hobby pack Strike of Neos packs. These are from those special editions that I mentioned earlier, and I say they're hobby-ish packs because I believe you can get either rares, super rares, or ultra rares as ultimate. Correct me if I'm wrong there. It may just be supers or ultras, but I know personally that I have pulled a Glow Neos, so the goal today is to pull that cover card in ultimate rare, elemental hero, air Neos. We're going to kick it off rev it up with duelist revolution our green pack let's see if we can pull an ultimate rare out of here duelist revolution of course some amazing cards like effect veiler pot of duality also some epic scrap cards like scrap dragon one of the first if not the first deck that i ever used that i ever played with uh, when i started playing again so here we go kicking off this cri christmas special earthquake giant ddd destroyer Elfin, that's actually apparently it's a decent common. I think it's worth like a buck or two. Alrighty, Duelist Revolution, no hollow to start off. Let's see what we can do here. How's uh how's y'all Christmas going though? In the meantime, hope y'all had a holly jolly Christmas or New Year. Or sorry, <laughs> or holiday, whatever you celebrate. Hopefully we can bring some more Christmas joy to you here with an epic pull. It looks like a super rare. It is Wiseman's Chalice. And a Scrap Beast. That's actually that was one of the staple cards of my scrap deck. Alright, so first holo. We'll take it. Wiseman's Chalice. It looks like uh, one of the uh, followers of... Or sorry, one of the uh, three uh, Jesuses. You know what I'm talking about. Anywho, <laughs> I'm very Catholic if you can't tell. Strike of Neos. Here we go. Hobby packs. Like I said, these are unlimited, but I consider them hobby packs. If you can pull an ultimate, uh, an ultra rare as an ultimate, you're not able to do that in normal real ret retail packs. So I got to consider these hobby. What's the actual code on them? I don't know if technically they are. Maybe all unlimited packs uh, in GX were, but who knows? Uh, like we're kind of like hobby. But who knows? We'll see. We pull something epic here. Ooh, DD Crow. That is a very nice rare. Oh my goodness! Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. That is an epic secret rare to pull out of here. Wow, Strike of Neos coming in clutch. It's, it's not an ultimate, but this is probably one of the top secret rares. You, if not, no, what else comes in here? Strike of Neos. What else comes in here? Is this a top secret rare pull? It might be. This is absolutely unreal. Kicking off the Christmas special with a bang. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Let's put this Duelist Genesis first edition pack that we're going to be opening up later off to the side. Felt a little bit weird to start off. I don't know why. But you know what? I'm in the groove now. Let's do this. We pulled an epic card to start off. Imagine an ulti. Dare I say, an ultimate rare elemental hero. That would just be absolutely insane. I would lose my crap. Let's go. Would be an epic Christmas gift for Santima. Ritual ceiling. Elect vi electric virus. Change of hero. Reflector ray. And... Ooh, Neospatian air hummingbird. Super rare. That would be an epic ultimate rare to pull. Uh, so our second super, not too bad, but... These ultimate rares, the unlimited ultimate rares on um, GX, were but they were almost like uh, European. These definitely aren't Euro packs, but it had that same pop where uh, the foil was just beautiful. So if we pull one. I really hope we pull one today. I want to be able to show you guys. So Duelist Revolution. What else comes in here? Solemn Warning. I pulled a Solemn Warning and a Pot of Duality in the same special edition once. 
So maybe we can do something crazy like that here. Scrap Goblin, epic card. This card actually can't be destroyed by battle. It's a pretty epic card just to run on the deck. Pretty staple. M.O., in my opinion. All right, let's go. Come on, we need to pick it up a little bit here. All right, one more Duelist Revolution before we get back into Strike of Neos. All right? Yeah, we've only opened three, right? Okay, this is our fourth. Whoop. Lock Cat. Desperate Tag. Watson. Flame Vell Archer. Flame Vell, or sorry, Playful Possum. And Scrap Rage. Okay. Back over to Strike of Neos Hobby Packs. Come on, can we pull that Elemental Hero Air... Hum not Air Hummingbird, what's it called? Air Neos. <laughs> Can't even remember its dang name. Our red packs, of course, to match the seasonal opening. I'll have to get into some of those Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa Claus packs. If you didn't check out the Christmas Eve opening, it was epic, so make sure you do. Neos Force. Alrighty, alrighty. Our next strike of Neo spec. Uh, what else comes in here? Neospatian Grand Mole. Some awesome Neospatian cards in here as well. Let's see if we can pull one. Epic Secret Rare to start. I was not expecting that. And was it after the rare? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure, right? Pretty sure there are rares and. Um, uh, rares and hollows in packs, or the possibility for a rare and hollow in a pack. Here we go. We're gonna bust open our first blister pack, Storm of Ragnarok. Come on, Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa Claus! Bless Santa Mo with some of your epic Christmas Day pulls. We already did really good. Spoiler alert: We pulled a Maxi. Can we do something epic here and pull something crazy, <gasps> guys? It's a Synchro Monster. I go from the back here. It's a Synchro Monster. Come on. Come on, Odin. As soon as I see that white, it's just like... I never think it's gonna be one, but... Oh! I forgot there's a super rare in here as well. Watt Hydra. Every time I see it, I'm just like... Is it? Is it a freaking... And it's funny because, like I said, there's less ultimate rares in there. If you if you if you get an ultimate rare synchro, you know it's definitely not the ghost. But you can get a super or an ultra synchro monster, and uh, it could look like the ghost there. So here we go. Let's continue on with Duelist Revolution. Let's rev it up. Let's see if we can pull an epic card. Like almost all of these sets actually have ghost rares in them. Just Strike of Neos doesn't. It's one of the earlier GX sets. Let's see if we can do it here. Ghost Rare in here would be a Fusion Monster. Watt Lemur. Land Wasp. And Nada. Oof. Unfortunately. Nothing for Duelist Revolution there. Here, let's, uh, let's go back and forth here. We'll go back to Strike of Neos. Neos, come on, let's see our first ultimate rare. That would be epic, a GX ultimate rare. DD Crow. Ooh, and Skyscraper 2 Hero City. So I, be I, I believe because the super rares are in this set, like, you know what I mean? I believe because the hollow and the rare is in the set, it's like a reprint GX set that was reprinted in 5D, so it has the same uh, kind of like hollow dis distribution. I don't think you can get rares as ultimate. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you've pulled anything like that, or you've had an ultimate, uh, as a, a rare as an ultimate, let me know. Alright, let's go, another Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa Claus pack, Storm of Ragnarok. Come on, let's see if we can pull an ultimate rare, Nordic God. That would be unreal. Of course, I would take a Ghost Odin as well. I've actually pulled, um... Two of these blisters that I've opened have had error packs. So, two dollars in one pack. Oh my gosh, guys. Another freaking... Oh my goodness, this time it was an ultra rare. I wasn't going to do the card trick. Storm of Ragnarok, you are... Storm of Ragnarok, you are trolling me today. Ah, oh, Atomic Scrap Dragon. That's an ultra rare that time. 
Every time you see that white, you think it's that freaking ghost. Every time. All right. All righty, all righty. Another Duelist Revolution. Still haven't pulled anything crazy from Duelist Revolution. Strike of Neos has been epic. Started off with that. Epic secret rare pull. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Let's see if we can pull an ultimate here. Come on, where's that scrap dragon? That would be an epic, nostalgic pull. Elfin. Amazon this. And... Ah, nada. Back over to Strike of Neos. Packs, packs are a lot thicker. Strike of Neos packs. They have the same amount stacked up here together. And, uh, and yeah, they're way taller. Come on. Let's see. Where's that ulti? Where's that ulti? Twister and ah, nada. Another Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa pack. Storm of Ragnaron. Let's go. Stop trolling us with synchros that aren't Odin. <laughs> Let's kick this up. If you are enjoying the content, make sure you leave a like. It does help me out a bunch. Subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I sound like such a bot when I say that, but it helps. <laughs> so do it. Stardust Phantom, that was actually a bendy rare. It looked like there possibly a hollow in that pack. Duelist Revolution. Revolutionize my pulls, my friend. Come on, let's see an epic secret rare from here. We pulled, we've been pulling some really good secrets so far. Oh, there's the reindeer. Barking. Let's see if we can pull another here. Duelist Revolution. Pot of duality, I'm calling it. Ah. Not there. Strike of Neos. Air Neos would be abs an absolutely just legendary pull. Legendary. I've already pulled Glow Neos out of here. I graded it and sold it to uh, uh, one of y'all, one of the one of my fellow Instagrammers, my fellow Yu-Gi-Oh Instagrammers. If you don't have Yu-Gi-Oh Instagram, make sure you make one. Check it out. If you collect, I definitely suggest it. Marionette Might. Oh, Neospatian Granmal. It's an epic card there. I was just talking about him earlier. I have him in PSA 10. All right, another Storm of Ragnaron. Have a holly, a jolly Christmas. Ron, Storm of Ragnaron. Doesn't look very promising. No bend. Could be wrong though. Nah, okay, nada. All right, folks, before we continue, Sanimo's got to go refill. Special Sanimo juice. Keep an eye on my packs, guys. <laughs> You're a mean one. <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> I am the Grinchamo, and of course I'm an Eagles fan. Who do you think threw the first snowball at Santa Claus? <laughs> Today, I am taking over, I'm hijacking this Christmas Day special, because if there's one thing I hate more than Christmas, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Christmas openings. We're jumping in here while the fat man goes off to scarf down some dog nuts. Ah, and today you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the green packs. Grinchamo. One thing I hate more, like I said, one thing I hate more than Christmas is freaking Christmas openings. No ulti, no ghost could make it better. I absolutely hate them. Any Christmas opening. Terrible. <laughs> Just wanna turn off this uh, Christmas uh, sweater which kind of probably given some people epilepsy but what more fitting time to rock the Eagles NFL jersey with an NFL game Ted on today for the first time in well there has been NFL games on uh, on Christmas but not on a Friday this is definitely a first here so storm of or strike of Neos here we go can we pull our first ulti can Grinchamo come and steal Ooh, there we go another Neospatian air hummingbird it's not what we're looking for though. We're looking for an ulti. Gonna steal an ulti. 
steal this opening away from Santamo. Ooh, okay, what's next? What do we go for next? Might as well. Let's open a Santamo pack. Storm of Ragnaron, as Santamo calls it. Let's see if we can pull Odin himself. Santa Claus of Yu-Gi-Oh. Even though there is a, uh, a Santa Claus card. It's funny. It's like punny. Santa Claus. Pretty funny. I thought, I thought it was funny. <laughs> okay, here we go. Storm of Ragnaron. Can we pull? Woo! We have our first ulti, guys. And it's a Synchro. This is awesome. Okay, we're going to take from the back here since we already know it's an ulti. It's not the ghost. But we did it. Mission successful. We came in and stole an ultimate rare from Santa Bo. Mwah! Doppelganger, and... What is it? It is an Atomic Scrap Dragon, unfortunately. It's the same ultra rare that we pulled, but in ultimate. Nonetheless, that foil is beautiful. Absolutely love my scraps. Even though this guy wasn't really used much in the scrap deck. Or at least Santamo tells me he didn't use it much in his scrap deck. But nonetheless, an epic card. Scrap Dragon. We stole this opening. We stole this ulti away from Santamo. <laughs> Mission successful, guys. It wasn't out of a green pack, unfortunately. As you guys can see, green being Grinchamo's color. Grinchamo. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go back to our native packs, our green our native color. Grinchamo, can we steal a ghost rare? Ah, that would be awesome. Or a scrap dragon from here, an ultimate rare scrap dragon from D Rep, the original. Take that too. Want cannon, scrap goblin, and delta flyer. Ooh. All right. Strike of Neos. Let's see if we can strike gold. And get that Air Neos ultimate rare. That would be unreal to pull that Air Neos in ultimate rare. Let's go. Mike and throw. She ends foot soldier. Flashbang. Neospatian Grand Mole. And Emblem of the Awakening. Alright, guys. Down to some last pack magic here. Santa pack. Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa Claus is getting cracked. We have to keep to keep the place a little bit cleaner actually here keep the ultimate rare and seeker rare close for good luck though should i steal santamo's secret rare as well <laughs> imagine no i'll leave it if i if i get a ghost odin here <laughs> all right nordic relic leviathan gamer of the nordic beasts legendary samurai and i do not think we pulled all of Ah, unfortunately, the last pack magic did not exist on Storm of Ragnaron. <sighs> Should I leave? Should I leave some packs for Santa Mo? No, I think I'm going to do it. We're just going to go ahead and open all of them. This last pack in general is green. Who better to open it than Grinchamo? <laughs> all right, I'm having too much fun here. Okay, so let's go. Last pack magic on Duelist Revolution. There is some dye that's still on my hands, but it's dry, trust me. My hands are, are clean. All right, Duelist Revolution. Where is that ultimate rare? Solemn Morning. Okay, I don't think it's an ultimate. I'll take a ghost. Ah, I do not think it's a hollow. Did not last pack magic. Failed us on D-Rev 2, but we have our two best, arguably two best packs of the opening. I still have our last hobby, Strike of Neo Pet. Strike of Neos pack. So, can we get our game on here? Can we pull a freaking ultimate rare? Let's do this. Come on. Legendary Evan Steed. Six Samurai. Zangi. Yarazi. Umbral Soul. Ancient Rules. And it is just a common. Unfortunately, couldn't end it off with some last pack magic on Strike of Neos. But like I said, we'll probably just end up taking Yugimo's secret rare pull. 
All right, guys, here it is, the moment of truth. How upset is Santa Mo gonna be when I take his last pack magic, his first edition Duelist Genesis pack? We're gonna have to get a little sniff of this green pack. We're gonna have to. Mm. All right, guys, first edition Duelist Genesis. We pull a Stardust Dragon here. I'm absolutely gonna lose my mind. Here we go. Last pack magic, baby. First edition. Duelist Genesis. The Duelist Genesis. Mind Protector. Recycling Batteries. Ooh, look at that. The bottom of these cards are all frilled up. Health Kinetic. Shocker. Don't think it's a hollow. Yamato no Kami. And Yamato no Hollow. Ah! That's what I get for trying to Grinch a Mo Christmas. Trying to steal the Christmas opening. But. Oh, I think I came around. I think I've come around to enjoying these Christmas openings. And they say the Grinchamo's heart grew three sizes that day. And uh, we're actually going to combine our efforts, myself and Santa Mo. So the pulls overall, gonna you know we're gonna we're gonna jam them together here, show them all off. <laughs> here we go: Watt Hydra, Neospatian, Air Hummingbird. A a couple of those guys actually. Uh, they actually look really different. Look at that. that one's really light. Baited. Skyscraper, Hero City, and Neo, or sorry, Wiseman's Chalice. A couple of awesome rares like DD Crow, but we have an ultra rare scr Atomic Scrap Dragon, which who thunk it, who would have thunk it, was a little premonition of what was to come with an ultimate rare Atomic Scrap Dragon. Really happy to pull at least one ultimate rare in this opening. Can't complain, but definitely I would say the highlight is this secret rare that I think was one of the first packs that we opened or Santamo opened. Strike of Neos, one of the OG GX packs. Super happy to share this epic Christmas special with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Probably gonna take a couple days off and then show off my best pulls of 2020. Or at least Yu-Gi-Mo is gonna come back and do that. But until then, peace. All right, time to finish opening these packs. What the f <laughs>